Hey there, this is Tan and this is first video of many teasing you with different cool functionalities coming to the platform this summer. So we're starting with the video hosting, the ability to upload your own videos and have your users to consume them in various, various ways. So let's start with the first thing, with the individual videos that you can add into, into your pages, into your websites. Of course, we have our own video player now that you'll be able to use and the videos will be encoded and compressed and, and optimized for consumption of your users. Everything is, um, they cannot download the videos, etc. So this is all secured way of you know, consuming and presenting videos to your users. We have, of course have different, different controls of the videos that you can add uh, to, to them and that you can actually hide as well. You have different options that I'll, uh, we'll discuss. So this is the new video player that you'll be able to use. You of course have different options, a lot of options. Uh, the video thumbnails being one of those, the ability to have you know catchy loops of, of snippets of video to engage, uh, to drive engagement uh, with, with the video. Uh, you of course, you have autoplay, ability to hide control, looping, etc. And here is an example. You also have the ability to have uh, you know transparent sides of the videos, like in this case you have uh, gray, and this one is transparent. Video options, you have a lot. You have other, a lot of options that you can enable, such as how many views uh, completed, or probably will be changed to viewed uh, who watched the video. You have uh, titles, descriptions, um, also you have reactions and comments. But I'll show you in a different video probably next week on the social element of the platform that is coming also uh, this summer. Video playlists, this is another way to consume multiple videos. The ability to have different grids of videos, different uh, directories of videos that people can select which video they want to play. Of course, you have the mark. If you are logged in a user, you also can mark a video as watched or if you already watched it uh, and it reached the end, that will automatically be uh, marked as a watched video. But yeah, you can list them like this and when somebody clicks, it will play the video right away, which you can again customize what kind of things you have there. You also have the ability to add categories to your videos, so you can fill them in different categorizations, organize them that way. Uh, but you also have the ability to choose how many, what kind of a grid you have, and also what kind of a pop-up you have for the video. This is another option uh, with a quick snippet of, uh, of what the comments would look like. And uh, again, you can have side video, side comments, or load a video with big pop-up or small pop-up. So a lot of a lot of options for your videos to present them to your users. The other thing is the video playlist, but with a sidebar. So there you can have like collections of videos again, people to consume uh, with uh, one video to play and other videos can uh, autoplay right after this is finished, for example, uh, with a way to expand or show the basically the other videos that are part of the collection as well. Then we have the video collections as a type of a, a new version, uh, a different version, which allows you when you click on the of this collection of, of videos that will expand into a pop-up with the playlist uh, view. Again, you can control everything that displays onto this page. Uh, very simple, simple and easy. And we have the video overlays. Something really cool that uh, we also presented to the platform, to the videos, is the ability to add content on top of the videos on specific timing. So for example, if you reach like 20 something, you see that at the bottom, you see a, um, a content showing. This content will be drag and drop, just like the, the page builder, like the pop-up builder, and you can add anything, checkouts, um, you can actually add a video within the video, you know, checkouts, forms, quizzes, uh, call to actions like this, whatever you want, you'll be able to add there. Uh, and you can add multiple ones, not just one. In, you can have different locations throughout the video in different places uh, uh, and timings and durations. So yeah, this is the video overlays. And that pretty much sums up the most of the features that will be coming. Of course, there are a lot of other features within the admin, you know, tracking and analytics, engagements, dropout rates, etc. Uh, but yeah, you'll see them when that is released. But these are some of the cool stuff that we've been working within the video and a lot of things behind it as well. Uh, but yeah, the videos, the playlists, the different collections, ways, options for you to present videos to your users uh, in, a, in a better way uh, possible. I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, probably next week we'll have a video about probably social 
things that we've been working on, comments, posts, forums, woes, etc. So really, really exciting things coming this summer. So let us know in the comments what do you think about you know some of the things that you saw just now about videos, hosting, and yeah, playlists. Thank you.